Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all the things that you can say about Christmas season. And welcome to the Dairy Runlet Show. I think this may be the first real Christmas show I've done. I've done shows around Christmas time, but I don't ever recall doing a specific Christmas theme. I want to thank uh, Dino Raymond, uh, my director, who just did this wonderful set. And the, uh, I love especially the elves because uh, both of them look just like me. Uh, and about <laughs> the same size I was when I was in junior high. Uh, folks, uh, I just uh, have enjoyed um, uh, this station for so many years uh, that I wanted to do a special Christmas show where I could talk to people that have actually worked at this station with me. And one of my absolute favorite people who's been at this station not quite as long as I have, but very close, is Leslie McVeigh. Leslie, thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> well, I love talking with you, Derry. All the when you come in, your energy is <laughs> is so positive. Well, Leslie, <laughs> I, I hate to tell you, but actually, I, I invited a bunch of other guests, but you were my seventh oh, choice. I was the only one you could you get. Were, you were seventh on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I asked my law partner, I've asked yeah. people, uh, everybody's very busy. Well, just, you know, I'm good at that. I'll fill in for anybody. <laughs> Leslie, I told you, I've, I've begged you before, and I've always wanted to do this uh, Regis and Kelly thing. I wanted to do that, and, 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 and she's turned me down. Uh, oh, well. Leslie, what I want to start off with is, I was going to joke about this, but when I wrote to you and said, I want to do this Christmas party at the studio, uh, I would like to have uh, decorations, eggnog, people mistletoe, dancing around the Christmas tree, whatever. And you said, Gary, it's not good, it's COVID. And I was going to call you the Grinch, but it, it, uh, Leslie, it is not good out there. Our, our yes, state yeah. is at its maximum right now ever since it started. Yeah. And you're aware of that, right? You know what's going on? Of course I am. Yeah. And, and we have to um, stick up for, for what's right. Yeah. And what's right is wearing a mask, getting right. vaccinated, getting a booster, right. keeping distance, yeah. and being safe, and yeah. doing all those things, not just for yourself, right. but for everyone in our community, in our world. Well, I have to say, folks, on the TV this morning, we had some new uh, news that Pfizer has perhaps come out with a pill. Uh, my question would be, uh, will those people who refuse to vaccinate, will they at least take the pill? Uh, we've uh, seen this situation mm -hmm. uh, spike in Maine, yeah. the fact that the National Guard has been called out. Uh, and all I have to say, folks, is that uh, in Maine here, I would encourage you to vaccinate. Uh, my wife uh, and I just got the booster. And I'm going to say to you, Leslie, she did have a slight reaction. You know what the reaction was? What? She was just very tired. Yeah. And uh, she Big never deal. sleeps till 9.30. Yeah. This morning she slept till 9.30. And I said, do you have any other symptoms? So, um, and I, I know the people will say, well, even vaccinated people are getting the disease. So moving on from that to a more, because, but the, folks, it's very hard to talk about Christmas 2021 or Christmas 2020 without mentioning this. But what I want to ask you, Leslie, I want to, the theme of the, of, the, of the show is our Christmas stories. Mm -hmm. And you must have a, a Christmas story. Does it go back to childhood? Tell me your Christmas I do. story. Well, when you first mentioned that Christmas story, I thought, what, what, what are, I have so many Christmas stories. But then this past week and what's been happening fed into one, one particular story. And I grew up in Portland and we went to State Street Church. Yes. That was our family church. My grandmother went there. She had her own pew with her, you know, and we would sit uh, right behind uh, her or uh, with her uh, if we could. Um, but Christmas time at State Street meant singing Longfellow's Christmas bells. Oh, yes. And yeah. that was something I looked forward to every sure. Christmas. We did that and we had the, the candle lighting. Right. Well, I haven't gone to State Street, I think, since my dad died, which was 11 or so years ago. Dr. McVeigh. Dr. Yes. McVeigh, who you knew yes. well. Very well. Um, and I have been really, really sick about what's happening in the world, not yeah. just with COVID, but with the environment, with the right. children dying yeah. and starving yes. and everything. And, and you get really down. Yeah. Well, I've also been thinking about that song and Longfellow. And you know, Longfellow was going through a deep, dark time. I didn't know that. Yeah. Deep, dark. Uh, his wife died, his son, 
who had gone to fight in the Civil War, right. and of course the Civil War itself. Longfellow was a great abolitionist, you oh, know, okay. and he, the Civil War was of great concern to him. Well, he had kind of a, an awakening, and he heard these Christmas bells, and he wrote this poem. Right. And I'm just going to read you the last two little stanzas here I of the him. poem. Yes. Because it, it really speaks to what the turning point for me this week was when I was feeling a little bit wow. like hopeless okay. and helpless. I'm ready. Okay. And in despair, I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, goodwill to men. And I thought, you know what, we can't give up. Leslie, I, I, you know, I, I've got to say this. I'm not just uh, patronizing you, but I don't think I've ever heard that, or at least I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. And what blows my mind about it is that for years and years, our peace on earth, peace on earth, I didn't realize that, that what he just wrote there applies to today. It All does. The despair we've it got, does. the day to yeah. God. And I think that the thing about that we enjoy most about Christmas is the is, is I would say the word hope. Mm -hmm. We always hope, and and people seem to relax a little bit. I have to share this with you, folks. I just took a trip out to uh, Washington. I went down the Columbia River on a paddle wheeler. 220 passengers. It was a wonderful trip. But what I remember most is that the airport was filled because of Thanksgiving. So I went early in the morning, four o'clock for six o'clock flight, and I passed a car on the way to the airport. I came to a, a red light. It was right on red out there in South Portland. And I, no right on red. No right on red. <laughs> and I sat there and I thought, oh, I gotta get there. And I took the right on red, and the car behind me was an unmarked police car. Oh. Lights are flashing. And, you know, at, at first I was gonna get angry, whatever. And I said, I apologize profusely. And, uh, and the guy said, Where are you going? I said, Well, I'm going out to Washington. I'm about to fly out. And he goes, uh, Go ahead. And so, uh, whatever police officer was kind enough on Thanksgiving Day, uh, I would have felt very strange to have <laughs> gotten a ticket on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> But the Christmas spirit seems uh, to prevail. Uh, so, uh, Leslie, I, I want to give you the chance. Over the last uh, uh, week, I have gone to various places in this state uh, trying to give money away, mm -hmm. um, uh, prizes away, mm -hmm. and by asking uh, uh, Christmas trivia questions. And amazingly enough, uh, folks, um, I uh, was doing this, and about half the people turned me down. Oh. I introduced myself as a lawyer. I said, I have a TV show. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, a chance to win a prize. And I can't, I, I, and I don't know what, it, what it's all about. Maybe I have an untrustworthy face. Well, it's it, is. A, it is about trust and fear. People, <laughs> okay. people are afraid of people. I guess. That's uh, why we have such a big dis divide, I think. We, we yeah. People don't know who to trust they, well, anymore. But yet they'll, they'll suck in for some robocaller and tell them they just won the lottery in Jamaica. So yeah. Leslie, I would like uh, very much uh, to give you a couple of trivia questions. Oh, no. And, and, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, the first, <laughs> this one is one of my favorites. I, this is one of my favorites. Okay. And I did this with a little girl yesterday. Okay. And, 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 did she and, get it uh, right? Uh, the no. pressure's on. The pressure's on. The little girl didn't get So we all know that December 25th yeah. is Christmas Day. Okay. Uh, but what year uh, was, um, was uh, Jesus Christ born? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> is this a trick because, question? <laughs> it's, it's kind of a trick question. So what year would you say Jesus was born, Jesus Christ was born? B.C. <laughs> Good guess. Okay. Um, uh, so the guy I asked in the store yesterday, uh -huh. he stood there and, and he said, I don't know, zero? And I said, that's what I would guess. <laughs> it's good. But actually, it's B.C. Yeah. It's like between that's 4 what I and said, 6 B.C. But I'm going, yeah. well, it's between 4 and If it's B.C. So it's got to be before. zero. And then it's before him. Uh, so, uh, but nice <laughs> guess. But the little girl in, in, the, in the post office yeah. guessed. Uh, she couldn't guess, so her mother gave her a hint. Uh -huh. And she said 2021. Oh. And I said, that's right, because Christ is constantly born. Oh. And therefore, reborn, she huh? won the prize. Yeah. Okay, now, I got another one for you, buddy. 
Uh, I'd like to have oh. your name who sings this song, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. I know this, but I... All right. Who is it? Oh, I know, but uh, I, it's like I know who yeah, I know it. you know it. I oh, know you know it. give me a hint. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's... This is it's, one of my favorite, uh, favorite songs. I love it, and, and I know who did I, it, and when you tell know, me, I'm going to be so embarrassed. I know you know well, it. give me a decade. Okay, I'm going to give you, yes. Let me put it this way. Let me give you a hint. Yeah. Extremely famous. Yeah. Top of the food chain female singer. Top of the food chain. Probably top of the it's food chain. It's not Ella Fitzgerald. No, close enough. No. But she's up there. Yeah, no. This would be, and I, I would love to lip sync this song, uh, but it's a woman, and it's Barbra Streisand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you can hear her voice. Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. I knew that. Okay, so I'm going to give you another one here. <laughs> oh, um, oh, does that work? Yes, it should Oh, it's does. so cute. Yeah, this, is, this, this was given to me. Do you have to put a nickel in? Or? No, no. Oh. This was given to me by Brenda Lee, uh, the singer, uh -huh. and it's got 18 songs on it. So Are they all the hers? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to play a song. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah. And you tell me who this is. Okay. Bing Crosby. Yes. Yes. Is it? Yes. Oh, all right. Final question, who's this? Frosty. Brenda Lee. You got it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting better. Do another one, just for you fun. You want another one? Okay. Yeah, just for fun. Okay. See, so, yeah, I'm on a roll. The, the, yeah, you are on a roll. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. And here, this one. Oh. Okay, famous singer, decades, 60, 60s. Leslie Gore. <laughs> no, who was That's it? a good guess. Yeah. Uh, wonderful person, by the way. She passed away a couple I years know. ago. I met her uh, in 2013. That would be, believe it or not, Diana Ross and the Supremes. Oh. Oh, yeah, and I can I gotta see tell you it something, now. Leslie, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, yeah. With this gift, uh, down payment on a house. Oh no! Yeah, no, <laughs> what do you mean yeah. gift? Down payment on a house. Oh dear. Yeah, me. I, oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, I'm, not right. a, I'm not a small. I'm not a small uh, ball no. header. Thank not you. a sweat ball lady here. No. Yeah. Sh should I go now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <because. laughs> Have you had enough of me? Is it time? I'm gonna because, I, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm gonna about to call right now. I'm gonna call Brenda Lee's. Um, assistant, uh, one of her best friends, and the owner of the salon where she does her hair. So you can sit here if you'd like, Brenda. Uh, Brenda oh, uh, do you, you want sit? me to sit I'd love to have you sit and here. comment at the end? Yeah, you can. All Absolutely. right, this love might be easier. I'm so trying. here we go. Okay. I'm going to call this uh, 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 this gentleman. I'll put him on speaker. Yeah. Here we go. Calling. Is this Doug Romeiser? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Doug, this is Derry uh, Runlet calling from the Derry Runlet Show, uh, and I'm with my friend Leslie McVeigh, my co-hostess this afternoon. Uh, Doug, uh, so uh, happy to uh, hear your voice, and uh, we just uh, we just did uh, Brenda Lee. We just did uh, one of her songs. Uh, she gave me a gift of a little jukebox, and we played one of the songs, and it was Frosty the Snowman, and she guessed it. Um, so, oh yeah. Uh, so uh, one of the things that I want to uh, uh, ask you, Doug, is how is she doing? When's the last time you saw Brenda Lee? Well, she was scheduled to be here this morning, but she had other appointments and didn't make it into the salon. But uh, two weeks ago, on, uh, I believe it was on Saturday, she was uh, the Grand Marshal at uh, the Hendersonville, Tennessee, uh, Christmas parade, and that was a big deal there. Oh, she, the weather was nice. The weather oh, was nice. Oh, so so she was the grand marshal in the Christmas. How far is Hendersonville from Nashville? Oh, let's see. It's probably about oh, I say about twenty-five miles. Okay, and did you it's go? A suburb of Nashville, basically. Yeah. Did Did you go, Doug? Did you go watch that? No, I sure didn't. 
that I saw part of it on TV. Okay. And was she like riding in a parade? Is that what she was yeah, doing? Yeah, she was in a red, uh, a red Corvette. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, uh, with no top. Yeah. She was in a convertible, a red convertible, and she was waving at everybody, and it looked, it looked really nice. It was nice weather. Everybody enjoyed the weather. Right. And and Doug, uh, as I understand it. Uh, you were just uh, mentioned, and she was just mentioned, uh, by Flash Phelps, who was interviewed on, on this very show. Uh, and Flash uh, uh, called you and, and, and talked about you and Brenda on XM Radio, 9 million people listening. Am I correct? Yes, that's right. And, and, and if, if Flash ever wants to talk to Brenda, he calls you first, right? That's correct. <laughs> and the same with me. Uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, Doug, I just want to tell you how much I love uh, the picture uh, folks, uh, Brenda Lee sent me a picture that said, uh, friends forever, uh, and I just w- want to thank uh, thank you for that. Uh, so, 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 Doug, I hear noise in the background. That's because I'm calling uh, her salon, which is called Bebo's, right? Right. And, uh, and, and uh, you and your friends own that salon, uh, and uh, Brenda's uh, primary hairdressers uh, would be uh, J.J. Sneed uh, and your buddy Tony, right? Right. Uh, and she comes in there, what, uh, once every couple of weeks to see you folks? Yes. Well, well, in fact, she's scheduled every week. Scheduled every week. Every Tuesday. Okay. And she can make it, yeah. Uh, and she pulls in, and a lot of people come to that salon because she goes there, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I was telling uh, my friend Leslie about her hair uh, and, and how you folks, uh, how she takes uh, you folks on, on, her, on her trips with her because even when she goes to Vegas, and when she went to Vegas, uh, Doug, to appear out there in front of, I think it was several thousand people, you were uh, the, the road manager. You were the, you were the person in charge of that, uh, of, that, of that program, right? That's right. We went out to the, uh, the Rockabilly Weekend out there. And it was their like their twentieth uh, anniversary, and they asked her to show up, and we did. And uh, I asked the uh, the pro- uh, property manager how many people were out. She was outside on the stage, and I said, "How many people are out here?" He says, "Well, I know exactly. There's twenty-eight thousand people." Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, uh, of course, she appears at the Golden Nugget, which I think holds about fifteen hundred people. Right. Uh, and you're saying that at this was twenty-eight thousand, so. 28,000 right. people are still going to watch a woman. But, but, Doug, we know that last year at this time, rocking around the Christmas tree was not just in the top Christmas songs. It was the number two song in the country. Do you recall that last year? Yes, yes. And, uh, and uh, Flash and I have talked about that. So right. it's, it's between Ma- Mariah and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Brenda. Yeah, they, they go back and forth. I know, folks, they, I think Mariah took over first position. But I've got to right. say, to be, to be 77, she just had her birthday two days ago, the 11th, correct? Right. And, That's right. And she's 77. She's a year older than I am. Uh, but it's amazing, Doug, for a woman 77 to have one of the top three songs in the country, uh, even in the year 2021. Doug, I want to thank you so much for taking my call. And I want to thank you for being my friend. And most of all, my dear friend, Doug, I want to thank you for taking care of my little buddy, Brenda Lee. Okay? You bet, buddy. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Um, oh, that must have made you feel good, to knowing that she was out and yes. being in that parade. And uh, Well, it, it does, Leslie. And, and the, uh, the Christmas story I wish to tell people uh, as we roll along here. Mm-hmm. And I wrote this in a booklet for my church. Uh, it was called the Advent Booklet. Mm-hmm. And they asked us to tell a Christmas story. Mm-hmm. And the Christmas story I told uh, relates, uh, you talked about your childhood mm-hmm. going to the State Street Church. Uh, uh, in 1958, I lived in a hotel right near this studio within uh, about 200 yards. My father uh, had passed away in 1958 on October 30th, day before Halloween. And I have to tell you that it was the worst Christmas of my life, without any question. Mm-hmm. And two songs came out. One was Jingle Bell Rock, which I, I'm going to do in another show, uh, and Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Because uh-huh. uh, rock and roll was just hit, just topping the charts. Elvis yeah. was just making his name. Uh, and I hated both those songs mm-hmm. because they reminded me of my dad's, my dad's passing and reminded me of what a horrible Christmas I was having. Oh. So when Brenda Lee came on the 2013 Malt Shop Memories Cruise, she came up on deck to, uh, to, to take selfies with people. 
And she came over to our table, and, and, and she was standing right next to me, and I watched her. Then she went over and sat at a table with her entourage, including uh, the gentleman I just spoke to. And they, she was sitting there, and there was an empty seat across from her. And I said to myself, gee, what's it like that she's going to have a song that's going to be heard until the end of time? Yeah. Uh, so I, I said, well, I'll, I'll just go ask her. So I went out and said, excuse me, do you mind if I ask you a question? And I said, oh, look, and I told her the story. And she said, why don't you sit down there for a second? She wrote her name, so I had her autograph, her telephone number, and her address. Ooh. And she said, why don't you stay in touch with me, and, and you'll know the answer to that question. Aww. So I got up to leave, and she said, by the way, are you, are, you, are you by yourself on this cruise? I said, well, yes, my wife doesn't come on these cruises, but I'm, I'm, I'm. So why don't you come down and watch the Hermit's Hermit's concert with me? Oh. And I went down and sat right beside her. Herman's daughter, Peter Noon's daughter, was on my right from Nashville. Brenda Lee was on my left. And we sang every Herman's Hermit song oh. together. That I'm Henry the Eighth. Henry the Eighth, the one I'm <laughs> Henry the Eighth. I am. Yeah. Mrs. Brown, you got a lovely daughter. daughter yeah. And of course, I knew every word because I was yeah. a disc jockey. She says, I can't believe you know every word. I said, uh. I was a disc jockey. Oh. Well, I had always wanted to sing with a rock and roll star my entire life. Mm -hmm. It's my dream. And Jimmy Fallon does it every, every night. He has oh. a guest. And so, I have to tell you, it was the greatest night of my life in terms of uh, a, a connecting moment. Yeah. And when I left, she said, well, we'll, let's, uh, we'll see you tomorrow night for dinner. I went out and looked at the moon, and I said to myself, this has got to be a gift from Aww. the Lord. This has got to be a, a God-given gift that, you know, in 1958, that song was the worst song in history, but now I love it. Oh. Uh, and that, that was uh, my story. Uh, about Brenda Lee, oh. uh, and uh, we became very dear friends. Yeah. And the, the the rest of the story goes like this, uh, Leslie. That um, she asked me, "Would you do me a favor? Uh, I have a Christmas tree up for bid, mm -hmm. uh, and it's at the Grand Ole Opry along with Dolly Parton, Charlie Daniels, oh. uh, uh, you know, the, the Oak Ridge Boys, yeah. all these famous country a, a fame, uh, 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 fundraiser. It was a the... fundraiser, oh. and you could bid on this tree, uh -huh. uh, Leslie." I'm telling you, I'm watching the bids go on, and they're, saying, they're at this number, they're at that number, they're at this number, they're at that number. And just before midnight, yeah. and this is January 15th, so it was December 31st, 2014, just before midnight, I made a final bid. Uh, and I got a call the next morning and, and I, uh, on my phone that said, uh, Mr. Rumlet, you've won the Brenda Lee Christmas tree. Oh. And with that prize came uh, um, a visit with her in the Country Music Hall of Fame, uh, the jukebox that yeah. I just picked up, and down there behind you, uh, the, the words uh, of rocking around the Christmas tree, signed by her, oh. and a replica of the gold record, oh. Keep On Rockin', Brenda Lee, that is, uh, that is oh. an, an original Decca record, oh. that's an actual record with a gold plate on top of it, uh, not solid gold, folks. It's not solid gold. Yeah. <laughs> but, and the lyrics to, Bren, uh, to Brenda Lee's on her stationery, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Beautiful. Uh, and um, my wife and I flew down, and we spent uh, a few days with her uh, and oh. hanging around with her. And then um, we um, ended up uh, going to Vegas yeah. with her and then oh. going on a country music cruise with her. And uh, she has become one of the oh. dearest friends in my life. So that song that was so sad for you at one point in your life helped make this connection yes. with someone who's so important to you now. Yes. I and think that's a lovely story. Uh, right. Um, and um, what, what, she, what she said uh, most um, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, that she felt a look of sadness in my face when mm. I told that story. So we're going to close with that. Hey, Siri. Uh, play Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree uh, by Brenda Lee. Hey, Siri. <laughs> Maybe it's Alexa. Hey, Siri. <laughs> play Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee. Now playing Rockin' Around there we the go. Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Come on, sing with her, Derry. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party. 
Mistletoe hum where you can see every couple tries to stop. Walking around the Christmas tree and the Christmas spirit ring. Maybe we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Terry. Thank you.